I'm Walker, and I'm still a survivor of the zombie apocalypse. So a couple of days ago, I disposed of my zombie neighbor and came out unscathed. Using some kung fu skills and my axe, the zombie didn't lay a hand on me. Thank God for that, because they're strong. You know how we get that crazy adrenaline strength in times of fear? Like when a mother tears open a door of a car, of a burning car to rescue her baby? Yeah, zombies ha seem to have access to that strength at all times. So if they grab a hold of you, your best bet is just to cut their arm off. Pry their damn hand off later. Because you're not going to be able to pull yourself loose. That's why I use the axe rather than blowing my neighbor's brains out. The gun is an emergency option only. These, my axe and my knife are my main ways of fighting zombies, at least individually. Big numbers, I just try to avoid. Um, now, fighting this way has some pros and cons. When you fight with your axe or fight melee, your hammer, your crowbar, whatever blunt object or sharp object you're using, you can serve ammo. Ammo is more precious than gun gold used to be. You also make a lot less noise, which as you saw or as I explained earlier with my neighbor, can be a very bad thing. Zombies recognize gunfire. They'll come and check it out. Um, however, melee combat obviously has some drawbacks. If you don't have the physique for it, then don't bother doing it. Just outrun them. They're slow. Use your gun as an emergency option, but be prepared to give up your, your position. You can always come back when you're better prepared at a later date, if it's that valuable, whatever you give up. The other drawback is melee combat gets you in close. And as I said, if they grab you, you're not going to be able to pull yourself free. Under most circumstances, they're stronger than us. So zombies only really have two tactics when they fight. They'll try to grab you, and then bite you, or they'll try to grab you, throw you to the ground, and then try to bite you. The more zombies, the more dangerous either of these tactics are. Anyway, I should probably talk about some fortifications that I've uh, made over the last couple of days. So I've raided the neighboring houses for doors, screws, spare wood. I used the doors to hide the stairwell to prevent random zombies from wandering down to my front door. The rest of the wood and the doors, I've barred the windows, and I prefer to use screws because they, I find they bite in better. They're less likely to be pried loose than a straight nail. Um, though they are slower than nails, they make a lot less noise than someone just hammering away on a nail. So that's what I did. Um, it's taken me a few days, but I have some initial barricades set up that I'm comfortable with for now. But uh, I think I'm going to lay low for a few days now, keep things nice and quiet, just in case all my moving around, all my scavenging has drawn some undead attention my way. As I've explained, noise is bad. Attention is bad. If you can avoid drawing attention your way, that's a major step to my to how I survived this long. Obviously, mistakes can be made, and then you have to kill your neighbor. But I think that's it for me for now. Time to lay low. Remember, stay quiet. Don't let them grab you. Because if they bite you or break the skin, 
but we all know what happens next. Keep watching.